I didn't expect it, but I, I met the film uh, thinking about yeah. the impact. Um, so that, so the energy of the film and its, uh, its immodesty in a way, <laughs> by thinking that it could, you know, mean something uh, and have a cultural impact uh, was within the film. But then did I believe, so you know, I wanted it to be felt like that. Did I believe that it would reach such, such a wide audience and, and, and engage in so many communities? No. <laughs> Of, uh, fully overwhelming, I must say, and even, you know, in a way, uh, life-changing. Uh, mm -hmm. It definitely changed a lot yeah. um, in my everyday life. I think I'm really, really fully in admiration of uh, Michaela Coel, who did uh, um, uh, I May Destroy You. Oh. Uh, so it's not cinema because it's it's TV and it's but it's it's mm. it's the language that has uh, struck me the most uh, the past few years and I must say um, I'm looking at a lot of movies from uh, made by feminists from the past mm. and I'm quite in awe of uh, so many experience sensors so many layers to film that hasn't been transmitted to us. So I'm both really always looking at contemporary stuff, but also very much trying to, uh, yeah, uh, to, to understand where we come from. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if I'm answering you, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the biggest challenge in making Petite Maman was uh, shooting in studio for the first time. Uh, which means, uh, in a way, making a film like at the origin of the cinema. You know, I really felt like, oh, I'm gonna use the exact same tool that had uh, the pioneers of cinema: studio editing. Uh, the film is could basically be edited while it was shot. You know, and um, very few dialogues. Uh, so. Yeah, it was kind of the the game, the rule well, of the game that we set for why ourselves. Did you... It was a very counterintuitive decision because, I mean, it's a film that could be shot in any house. It's really not a film. You know, we built a house to watch a little girl eat cereals. So usually studio, they're, they're you know, they're invested in, in a reconstitution that is either because it's futuristic or it's the past or it's like... So we didn't really need to shoot studio, but um, it felt uh, it felt fully right because I wanted to create. It was a time traveling film without a time traveling machine, so the film had to be the time traveling machine, and and that's why we went for studio because it's uh, it's uh, it's a fully built time and space. So that's the, that, that's that's the I always saw the the house as a spaceship, so I had to invent it. Yeah. Not much because uh, I'm very secretive. Also because it's very early now, very early on. So I'm only kind of daydreaming about it. Um, but also it could. You know, it could happen either in a very long time or very fast, I don't know. I'm, I'm also full of surprise for myself. Mm. Really depends about what you call initial, because yeah, I had, I had the opportunity to make a film at a very young age, so basically when I was saying I don't want to direct, it was out of the fear of a very young woman, you know, <laughs> a very young person. Um, so I don't know how honest I, I was saying that, because I like it so much that uh, it feels weird to even consider that, that maybe I would have given, you know, I would have explored. So I feel like I, I was afraid. Yeah, I mean, it's always um, a lot of pressure to do to do a film, but uh, I feel really, really privileged that I get the opportunity to, mm. to do it again.
I would definitely say go for it. Meaning uh, also, you know, when you suddenly you want to make a film, you have to look at, okay, I'm going to have to enter an industry. There's so many rules. It's so competitive. Mm -hmm. And it's true, you know, mm -hmm. cinema is the most competitive art in the world. I don't know why we do the Olympics four times a year. You know, festivals, they're always competitive. It's about... And, you know, my advice would be, okay, that's, that's, that's the whole design, but um, you can... And, and I'm not saying, you know, I fit in, I fit it in, so I'm not saying you shouldn't, but uh, it, should feel good to, it should feel good to think about cinema every day. It should feel, it, it should still be, you know, so for me, thinking about cinema, having ideas for cinema, uh, every day doing little, you know, we have this now, I, I do, I feel more now that I have always this camera in my pocket than ever. So, yeah, try out stuff, you know, all the, the fact that, you know, especially if you're a young filmmaker today, you're definitely a digital native, which we weren't, you know, so, like, be, be, yeah, make some, enjoy, enjoy all this. Don't, don't try to, to fit in the, the old protocol, because you, use the tools of today and be super excited about the contemporary because, you know, cinema can be a very fetish, fetishizing, uh, fetishizing, ah, an art that fetishizes itself a lot. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to love the present, especially because, you know, we're going, we're, we're going through such a hard time collectively. So, but you gotta love what's happening. You gotta, you gotta love what's next. Uh, and don't feel like you're coming at a bad time. Because, you know, that can be also part of the anxiety, like, oh, it used to be like that, but now it's like, it's, there's always something to do today. Okay. And Thanks. also we are counting on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, of course.